Hello. Um, this is our last week of English 10 of semester one, quarter two. Wow, what the heck. <laughs> All right, so this um, video is going to be pretty short because we're not doing a whole lot because it's the last week. So um, again, nothing for asynchronous. I'm not, there's nothing that's um, going to be turned in this week for points. There is two things that I want you to do in terms of reflection. Because you are watching this video, that means that you are absent on either one or both of our synchronous days. So um, the one thing that I really want you to still do is our Google Form survey. And I'm gonna show you first what that is. So that's this week. But first I wanna say, you did it. You survived semester one of distance learning. Um, this is technically like, I guess you can consider it your second semester of distance learning because of what happened in the spring, but you were able to, to do it. Um, I know that this has been so tough and difficult. There's been a lot of emotions and a lot of things happening and, um, even though we are all experiencing this pandemic together, we're experiencing it in different ways because of different things going on in our lives, um, personally, in school, out of school. And so I just want to commend you for all of your hard work, for showing up, for doing it, because um, it's difficult. And I can't imagine what it's like um, at your age to go through this because it's a lot. So well done. Um, Okay, so this is what I really want you to do for me because it's so important. Um, your voice matters to me greatly. Um, it always has from day one. I, I truly, truly value your input and your perspective and the feedback um, that you would give me. So this is what I'm asking for you to do for me. Um, I want you to fill out this Google form. It's called Feedback for Mrs. Albritton. Um, in it, you get to tell me, you know, what was great about English 10? What wasn't so great and what can I do to get better? Um, this is going to help me. This is going to give me some clarity as to what did I do well? What did you enjoy? What was awesome? And then what can I be better about? What can I change? Is there something that I could do? So let me show you this survey. Um, I've linked it in the slides, but it's also up on Canvas. So if you click on this survey, it'll look like this. So you're going to tell me your name, your cohort and class period, your school email, and then answering these questions. On a scale of one to five, what is your overall impressions of English 10 with Mrs. Albritton? What was your favorite part of class? So think about like the content. What, what assignments did you love? Did you love our daily attendance questions and maybe which ones? How about our discussions? Things that we did kind of routinely. And then think about those same things, but what was your least favorite? What was kind of like, I didn't really enjoy this assignment. And um, with both of these, if you're going to tell me something, tell me why as well, because that'll help me figure out what I did really well and what I didn't do well. Um, and then what was your favorite unit that we did? poetry, argument, short stories, um, maybe something else that you had in mind. Um, so tell me what was your favorite unit. And then if there was something that you wished we would have done that we didn't, please tell me what that is. Um, obviously, there's a lot we couldn't do because of distance learning. It would be way different if we had this in class. So tell me what is something you wish we would have done. And then what is something that made English 10 awesome, something that you were grateful for and appreciated. And then what could I do better? Because there's gonna be students that take this class with me in the future and I wanna know how can I continually improve? I wanna get the best that I can be. And then any other positive thoughts or constructive feedback that you have for me, if nothing, you can just say no. Um, but again, this is really, really important to me. I truly, truly value your feedback and your input because I'm experiencing this class, obviously from the teacher point of view, but I wanna know what it's like from your perspective as a student. So if you could fill that out for me, that would be awesome. And then um, just some things to go over with you as we wrap up here. 
So if you remember this, um, this was something that we talked about way back in quarter one, week two, I believe. We were talking about growth versus fixed mindset and this phrase, I guess I just haven't learned that yet. Instead of, you know, messing up, making mistakes and getting hard down on yourself and and just thinking that you won't ever get better, just saying, I guess I just haven't learned that yet. Um, it changes everything. So this is something that you're not turning into me. This is something that we would do together in the chat, unmuting ourselves during your Zoom call. But because you are watching this video, um, you don't have to actually write this out. But please take a second to think about it because it's important. How did learning about the growth and fixed mindset change the way that you view school, your experience in school, how you might continue? Was it easy to forget about having a growth mindset when challenges came up? And why was it easy? We're not easy. And then lastly, what are some practical ways that you could practice a growth mindset as you move into semester two, you're taking different classes, having different teachers, what could you do to try to walk a little closer to a growth mindset every day? <sighs> okay, it's goodbye. Um, I know it's cheesy, but Andy Bernard, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. For all the challenges and obstacles that we had to face, all of the emotions, um, I still believe that there was some good that we experienced in the last few months. And I just wanna say thank you um, for making my first year, my first semester, just incredible. Um, I know I didn't get to know all of you and interact with you as what I would have liked to being on campus, but I'm, I'm really grateful for the time that we had together. And um, don't be a stranger. That's also cheesy, but don't be a stranger. If you see me in the hallway whenever we go back on campus, say hi. Um, I would love to, to hear from you and see how you're doing. So that's it. Thank you so much. I hope that you truly enjoyed your time in English 10 and that you feel um, more confident in yourself as a student and as a person and that you, you move on and do great things. So, bye.